the first question is always the toughest one, Rudy. Yeah. Can you state and spell your full name for us? Uh, my name and is. How you want it to appear? Okay. All right. Uh, my name is Rudy Spencer. R U D Y Spencer. S P E N C E R. And what is your title and who do you work for? Uh, I'm a customer service performance analyst uh, for Louisville Gas and Electric or Kentucky Utilities. Okay. And you you've taken the project management course this last semester. What, if, what you can describe the experience. Or still, please. Describe the experience and what it's like, of course. Um, so for the past year, I've taken uh, the project management class. Uh, well, not past year. For the past semester, I guess, I've taken the project management course. And uh, it's been a really cool experience. Um, you, you're on a team of uh, people from your class. And then uh, you bring a project in uh, from one of the team members. And then you work on it using all the project management skills that you learn every week. Uh, and so it's been a really insightful experience of one, you get to meet a lot of different people, uh, and, and two, you get to see how they're using project management skills and all their different um, projects that they have going on. So what was the project that, you, that your team worked on? So uh, the U.S. Census, uh, the National Processing Center in um, uh, Jeffersonville, Indiana, uh, they are doing a switch replacements, and we had to use our project management skills to figure out how to replace all of the switches uh, for the National Processing Center uh, without the center going down. And so uh, it was a really um, wild process because you're sitting there thinking, well, one, you have to figure out, like, actually, what does the census do? Uh, and we all know it, you know, every 10 years, they're your best friend asking you to fill out this, um, you know, the, the census, the, the, that long form. But also they do a lot of uh, surveys uh, all the way that go all the way up to the President of the United States. Uh, so you're like, oh, this, so this is a little bit of a bigger deal than I guess the every 10 years. So, uh, you know, that's what we worked on. We worked on trying to figure out how do we upgrade their technology systems to keep them um, the best uh, for all the researchers that are putting in data in and so that people here even at universities could pull that data and to use it to do analysis. And did you feel like the kind of the real world application there helped you understand concepts maybe a little more? Absolutely. I, you know, learning the, being able to use the project management skills in real world application, uh, I think really helped me connect the dots. Uh, oftentimes you're sitting, um, you know, when you're in class or in school, you, you know, there's just, you know, the theory, but uh, being able to see uh, tangible results about what you're doing in a real life project and uh, the person on your team who's going back to work and saying, all right, so I did this piece on the project and this is where my, my boss said, uh, I don't really think you want to do that. Um, and then being able to come back into the classroom and be able to learn in a safer environment uh, is really helpful. So that, that's what I really loved about uh, both um, the fundamentals class and then the practical applications. So why did you choose U of L to, to, to take these courses? Yeah, well, I mean, well, first of all, I, I did my undergraduate school here. I'm a, I graduated in 2009 with my political science degree. Um, but then when I was looking for, um, it was uh, looking for professional development opportunities, uh, the, uh, I, was, uh, I got a, 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 one of the flyers in the mail uh, with uh, all the different opportunities that the um, Delphi Center provides. And I, I saw it, and part of the course has said that it, you know, it would give you great opportunities to learn about how do you really work with projects. And right now in work, uh, at, at my job, uh, you know, I was getting a lot of different kinds of projects uh, from uh, anything about how we do community involvement um, activities to some of my day-to-day -day data analysis. And um, it was getting a little overwhelming a little bit. And so I was looking for something that would help me um, learn uh, the processes to be able to manage all that better. And so, um, you know, came across it. it was right time and then I said well I have the free time so let me try to see if this will be benefit. And was there something in particular you were looking for in, in a program that, that U of L offered that, that kind of flipped a switch and you thought yeah this is this is it this is what I need to do? Well I think it was when I was reviewing all of the um, the, the professors that were uh, teaching the, the courses uh, they were um, that you know so my one of my professors he worked with um, uh, the PMO group at Churchill Downs, and um, he, um, you know, he does this day to day, uh, and so it was really one of those things where I want someone whose uh, full time job is to manage projects, and I said, well, you know, if he does this day to day, like, you know, and I'm trying to learn, I want someone to do that, who has the expertise professionally 
to be able to, to work on that. I think that segues actually into another question. So um, feel free, again, like I said before, if you repeat an answer, it's OK. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but what did you learn from having real world practitioners as, as instructors? What, it's, it's what did you learn from having the real world practitioners as your instructors that maybe you wouldn't have if they were you know, not practicing themselves. <laughs> yeah, right. No, so there were many times uh, in the practical applications class where uh, we would come, go across a, a concept around um, like stakeholder management. Like, how do you, when you're going to um, um, create, uh, when you have the project and it's defined, and you're going to your the stakeholder, the people that are responsible, that are paying for the project, or signing off saying that it's complete, of, okay, so here's what uh, we're going to do, and do you approve the project? Uh, in the textbook way, uh, it's uh, it's a much easier process than what it is uh, in the real world. So oftentimes, uh, it's saying uh, the stakeholder is ultimately responsible, but uh, as a project manager, you are actually responsible, and it's helping your stakeholders understand uh, all the different components that go into the projects, a lot of the risks that are involved. Uh, and so he was able to give some examples about where uh, his neck was on the line on projects that he's working on. Uh, and you know you can't just say oh well it's just the boss's fault because when you're managing the project uh, the buck stops with you uh, and so that that's what I think was really uh, amazing uh, because he was open and honest about uh, all the challenges that uh, he has um, and then it really helped us figure out how we navigate uh, when we're back in our own careers. Let's talk about some of the benefits of the program. Um, can you do you have any examples of how the program's benefited you professionally since you started? Yeah well, at, well right now um, uh, the program has benefited me professionally uh, uh, in terms of uh, the projects that I'm, I'm getting now. Uh, so um, I finished the project, um, uh, well I finished the, the course next week uh, and so my, uh, my, um, my managers are looking forward to that so they can have, once I have that project management certificate, they can give me more opportunities. Uh, right now um, I'm working on a project where that's doing analysis of uh, overtime uh, doing and then even something as I talked about a little bit earlier some of the community engagement stuff um, even to um, like building a, a playground for in the community. Um, what I learned is that project management uh, can be used in a lot of different ways uh, where the project management skill set can be used in a lot of different ways whether it's something um, um, day to day uh, whether it might be at your home or it might be uh, in your career and um, I think my leadership is trusting me more uh, to be able to help manage those projects and get them completed in a timely fashion, uh, to be able to meet uh, other deadlines and to, move, to advance um, our, our business forward. It sounds like your job has been supportive of you through the, through the process as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, well, the, the first immediate uh, support is that sometimes it takes a, I, I'm leaving from downtown getting out to uh, uh, the Shelbyville campus, uh, the Shelby campus, and uh, you know, they let me leave a little bit early <laughs> to be able to get out there. Uh, but, uh, and also, I mean, they're, they're helping to uh, pay pay for part of the course. Uh, and then also, they're really asking, you know, well, what are you learning in, in the class? And then, um, you know, why do you, how do you think that applies to uh, what you're doing right now and, and at work? So, uh, it, it's been it's been great. Um, and right now, we're, um, right now, we're in our process of doing our, um, uh, our goal setting for next year uh, and uh, I've been helping with defining the projects or helping to the ideas that we have translating those into uh, actionable projects. So do you think the expectations that, that, that they have kind of placed on you when they come to you and say hey what are you learning in class that that's made, made you more accountable to, to the work you're doing in, in the program and at, at the job? Absolutely. The, 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 the program uh, has definitely given me um, um, giving me more confidence uh, in my skill set to be able to handle projects that they provide to me, uh, and being able to get them completed in a timely fashion, being able to ask uh, for help, uh, and being able to ask the right questions and the right people for help. Uh, you know, what I've learned uh, around the project management uh, skill set is that you don't have to be the expert in everything. Uh, you just have to be able to help manage and get the right people at the table uh, to advance the project forward. And that, that has been, um, I think, one of those aha moments for me. Uh, and, and so that you know, you don't have to be the expert in the room, but you have to be able to handle and manage all these different skill sets um, and to manage your business forward. And in a lot of ways, building relationships and uh, getting those things accomplished, uh, getting different, uh, getting people working together to uh, for a common goal is really what a lot of business is about. So, the last one I have here: Would you recommend the, the 
Project Management Certificate Program to a friend, and, and why? <laughs> Absolutely. I would recommend the Project uh, Management uh, Certificate to, to any friends or people that are looking to advance their careers uh, because, it, I mean, it's a really tangible skill set that you'll be able to go out into the world and say, I have this skill set, and here's how I can help help you and what you're wanting to accomplish. Um, you know, I, I think that what this Project Management um, course provides is really just insights to um, not only what skill sets you probably have from your actual education, uh, but then also uh, how you work with other people um, to um, get things done. And um, the, the the course is phenomenal at being able to do that. Both the fundamentals to giving you a high overview and then the practical uh, applications of that. Okay, you wanna add something to the next talk? I know one, one yeah. question that, um, you touched on the, the instructors a little bit sure. kind of off camera, but it sounded it sounds like um, there's there's a little bit of a connection there with the instructors because of the the real world application, and we've kind of hinted around that a little bit. But can you speak more? To that? Right. Yeah. Uh, you know the instructors, the quality of the instructors uh, that are there. I, I, first of all, I have to applaud the Delphi Center for getting this the level of of um, instructors uh, because uh, the, they're really at the top of their game uh, in terms of in project management. And so getting to build a relationship with them over uh, a six week or a 12 week period of time uh, and really getting their counsel and really trying to help you understand um, about how you can advance your career both um, internal at your own company but also in um, other uh, project management communities outside of, of work um, is really beneficial. And um, you know the quality of the instructor uh, I think it will define the quality of your your um, uh, course, and so uh, you know I, it's been great to have um, those, my two past instructors helping me out, uh, and always being at the ready to help me get, help guide me through um, some co the complex uh, project management uh, questions that that sometimes arise, uh, particularly um, in, as I as I advance my career as my career c continues to grow. I'm happy. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>